Hi friends, welcome to Connexo Technical Insight. I am Rahul Randeria and I would be conducting today's show. Today we would be discussing regarding the trends, the setups, the technical indicators, the candlestick patterns, the derivatives data of Nifty, Bank Nifty as well as of the different asset classes. Now first of all let us discuss what we have mentioned in our last video. In our last video we have mentioned that Nifty has witnessed the inverse head and shoulder breakout and uh, last week was a truncated week as well as uh, there was FOMC meeting, India weeks was multi-year low. So we might see some sort of selling pressure or profit booking coming in at the higher levels. And we have uh, suggested that profit booking is advisable at the higher levels and one should wait for some uh, sizable correction or profit booking and then one should try to enter at the lower levels. So for the first three trading days, Nifty traded with positive bias and on the last day, that is on Friday, we have seen a sharp selling pressure uh, seen because of the uh, because of the global uh, weakness in the global markets and Nifty has ended on a negative note. So most probably uh, market uh, has performed on our expected lines and looking at uh, you know the Friday's closing, now we will try to figure out what could be the trend for the next week and what are the important supports and resistance level. So now let us check out uh, Nifty daily charts and we'll try to figure out what could be the trend for the next week. So now let us go to the Nifty daily charts first. Now this is the Nifty daily charts and we have been discussing regarding this inverse head and shoulder. This was the breakout uh, which uh, of last Friday, last to last Friday. Uh, after that we have seen that on the first three days uh, Nifty traded with positive bias and on Friday we have seen a uh, downfall. Now, this is the last uh, uh, Friday's candle, which I would consider it as a inverted hammer with an upper shadow. Now the crucial support for the next week is 18,042 in the spot levels. If Nifty breaks those levels, then Nifty might witness further selling pressure which can uh, take down Nifty towards the level of 17,900 which is this particular horizontal line. Uh, now, this could act as an immediate support for the next week. So looking at this particular pattern, we feel that uh, the biasness is slightly weak. Yes, but the global markets, I mean to say specifically the US markets have been highly volatile and it has ended on a slightly positive note. So let me just uh, discuss the US market. You can see US market has ended on a positive note on the fag end of the week. So let me check the weekly charts so that we will have a larger view. So weekly chart was slightly bearish but it had a longer shadow. Longer shadow is clearly representing that there is a strong buying support seen in the international markets. So this is the weekly charts. Now this is the daily charts. So maybe on Monday we might see some sort of cool off in US markets also. And obviously uh, Indian markets will trade first and after that the US market will react. But definitely looking at this chart, the trend is seems seeming to be slightly positive. But we might see some sort of cooling off in the US markets also. So now let us go to the Nifty daily charts. And we'll try to figure out what could be the trend for the next week. So looking at this particular pattern on daily charts, it seems to be negative. Let me have a view or for weekly charts. Now weekly charts is showing an inverted hammer. So this inverted hammer is giving a confirmation that uh, purely on the charts, we feel that Nifty might slide down to the levels of maybe 17,900 to 17,860 mark. So at this juncture, uh, looking at to the but I feel that uh, most probably we might see selling pressure coming in at the higher levels. So those who are still long in Nifty should try to book profits at the higher levels only for just a couple of hundred points, maybe 150, 170 points or 1% downside from these levels. So most probable level to enter long in Nifty is between 17,900 to 
17,860 mark. This is the range where one should try to enter long at the lower levels. But at the at these levels, I would suggest just those who are longs, just try to book profits. Those who want to trade short can trade short. If there is a gap up opening, maybe 60, 50, 60 points on the higher side. So initially we feel that market might come down. But after that, maybe in the second half of the week, maybe after Wednesday, we might see a bounce back coming into the market. But as of now, strategy should be buy on dips and selling pressure. Initially, the selling pressure might come at the opening of the trade on the Monday. So now let us discuss the important supports and resistance level in Nifty for the next week. So friends, the first support in the Nifty is placed at the psychological mark, which is 18,000. Below that, the second support is placed at 17,885. And third support is placed at 17,777. Whereas on the upside, the first resistance is placed at uh, uh, 18,146. Above that, the second resistance is around 18,238. And third resistance is around 18,349. So these are the important supports and resistance level in Nifty. Traders should try to just follow these levels and uh, just uh, try to trade in the direction of the primary trend. So initially, as I said, primary trend would be slightly negative, but we need to monitor on Wednesday whether Nifty is taking support between 17,900 uh, 17, uh, 17, to 17,860. And after that, if it is taking pause, it is consolidating. And if there is a breakout from that consolidation, then one should try to go long at the lower levels. So as of now, some sort of sell selling pressure could be, uh, could be seen in the initial week, uh, uh, in the next week. So friends, now let us discuss the derivative data of Nifty. First of all, we'll just try to analyze the Nifty call data. In Nifty calls, the action was seen in 18,100 calls and 18,200 calls, 18,300 and 18,400 calls. Now here you can clearly see there has been a significant drop in the option premium. Implied volatility is low. It is between 9.05 to 9.51. There has been a rise in the open interest. Volumes are also rising. So as I said, initially, 18,000 is the psychological mark. And looking at clearly looking at these volumes, I feel that the resistance would be around 18,100 to 18,150 mark on the upside. So uh, if we see a bounce back from these levels towards 18,150, selling pressure might be seen because you can clearly see that the strong money the smart money has already uh, done uh, the call writing, strong call writing has been seen. So 18,150 could act as a major resistance on the upside. So now friends, let us discuss uh, the Nifty put data. In Nifty puts, the action was seen in 18,000 puts, then 17,900 puts, 17,800 and 17,700 puts. Now here you can see there has been a rise in the open interest, rise in the volumes. Implied volatility is in comfort zone between 9.98 and 11.51. Uh, the option premium, the, the change in the option premium is slightly positive because the market has ended on a negative note on Friday. So some sort of uh, negative bias is still there in the markets. But looking at, you know, the volumes, I, as I said uh, earlier, looking at the charts, looking at the volume, if Nifty breaks 18,000 mark, then there is a potential chance that Nifty might drift down to the levels of 17,900 uh, to 17,850. And that would be the area where one should try to look out for going long. So as of now, looking at this particular level, I feel uh, most probably 18, uh, 17,850 could act as a strong support on the downside. So now friends, uh, let us discuss or let us check out the Bank Nifty daily charts. In Bank Nifty daily charts, we have discussed regarding a uh, triangular breakout. We have seen a breakout. Now we have seen a pullback. You can clearly see there was a breakout. Now here uh, Bank Nifty is almost uh, witnessing some sort of pullback. 
so maybe looking at this purely on this pattern we feel that on the downside this horizontal line of uh, the triangular earlier it was the resistance could act as a support so that is coming around almost uh, 42000 mark so that could act as a immediate support uh, in bank nifty for the next week so any gap up opening on monday should be used to go short to exit long and uh, which might uh, take bank nifty towards the levels of 42000 on the downside so strategy should be uh, sell on rise uh, in the initial a uh, week maybe for monday tuesday and wednesday and after that if it if it is taking support at 42000 then one should try to go long at the lower levels so friends uh, let us discuss the important supports and resistance level in bank nifty for the next week the first support in the bank nifty is placed that uh, 42432 below that the second support is placed at 42118 and third support is placed at 41799 whereas on the upside the first resistance is placed at uh, 42914 second resistance is placed at uh, 42282 and third resistance is placed at 43588 so these are the important resistance uh, supports and resistance in bank nifty for the next week i'm sorry the second resistance was around 43282 so now these are the important supports and resistance level in bank nifty traders should try to follow these levels uh the strategy should be initially book profits exit in bank nifty also wait for bank nifty to get uh, settle down around 42000 mark see closely whether it is taking support near 42000 whether it is consolidating there is no further sell off and if it is taking support and after that if it is trying to inch upside then try to create long positions at the lower levels so now friends let us check out the derivative data of bank nifty let us check out the uh, bank nifty call data in bank nifty call the action was seen in uh, 43000 calls then 43300 calls and 43500 calls now here you can see there has been a significant drop in option premiums implied volatility is rising it is it is between 12.62 to 13.45 the volumes are rising the open interest is rising so looking at this particular data we feel that uh, immediate resistance would be 43000 mark if it breaks and sustains above those levels then uh, most probably 43300 could act as a major resistance on the upside for the next week but most probably i think that bank nifty might uh test 43000 mark and after that uh we might see selling pressure coming in at those levels so looking at this particular data smart money has already uh, seen or done strong call writing uh of out of the money calls so it is difficult at least for the next week for bank nifty to cross 43000 mark so any pullback door those those levels should be used to go short at the higher levels or exit long and try to uh, give some uh, time for market to settle down near 42000 mark and then one should uh, try to create long positions at those levels so now let us uh, check out the bank nifty puts data in bank nifty puts the action was seen in 42500 puts then 42000 puts then 41500 puts now here you can see uh, rise in the volumes open interest is also rising uh, there is uh, the percentage uh, sorry the option premium are uh, on the positive side and that also strongly that is clearly indicating that uh, the smart money might had bought uh, bought uh, bank nifty puts uh, from those levels so definitely uh, looking at this particular data as i said volumes and open interest front i feel that 42000 could act as a major support for the next week but initially from these levels uh first uh support might be around 42500 if it breaks those levels 
closes below those levels, then Bank Nifty might drift down to the levels of 42,000. Looking at this particular volume, open interest data. So initially, 42,500 could act as an immediate support. And after that, Bank Nifty might drift down to the levels of 42,000. So most probably the range in Bank Nifty for the next week is 43,000 on the upside and 42,000 on the downside. So the clear uh, view looking at or studying the data of charts and derivatives data, we feel that initially at the gap of opening on Monday, selling pressure could be seen at the higher levels. After that, market might start drifting lower levels. So the crucial support uh, in the Nifty is around 17,850 and in Bank Nifty, the important support is at 42,000 mark. So uh, most probably the strategy should be buy on dips, wait for some dip and then try to create long position. If anybody is long at gap up opening, one should first of all try to book profits or exit longs, wait for market to settle down at the low levels. Uh, see, check whether there is no further sell-off. If markets are consolidating, I mean to say if Nifty and Bank Nifty is consolidating near 17,850 and 42,000 mark and then try to create long position at those levels. So friends, now let us come to the final segment of our show, uh, which is positional call. I have identified one stock. The name of the stock is Tata LXC. Let me check out the charts of Tata Lexi. Now we will see the that the stock has already corrected from the highs of 10,760. It has made a, year, a 52 week low of uh, 5,709. So almost we can say that the stock has corrected more than 45% from its lifetime high. After that, uh, or during this particular journey, it has formed a triangular formation, which we can call it as a, a strong pattern making near the base. Already the stock has witnessed a breakout of this particular triangular pattern. You can clearly see this. But uh, after this breakout, there was no follow up buying. So there, we might see some sort of cool off from these levels. Currently, the stock is quoting around 6,660. You can see after this rally, the RSI is also slightly tilting on the downside. But purely looking at to the price and volume action, we feel that the stock might drift down to the levels. Maybe stock might see some sort of correction of 100 or 150 points from these levels. Uh, so, um, long term investors, positional investors, short to medium term investors should buy this stock or accumulate the stock on dips, uh, on dips to 6,500 for an upside target of 7,431 for long term investment. So, looking at this particular pattern, which is a triangular breakout. Uh, one should wait for some dip. So again, I would like to repeat long term investors, swing traders or positional traders should buy Tata LXC on dips to 6500 for an upside target of 7431 for long term investment. So friends, uh, thank you very much for watching the show. You can uh, suggest any uh, comments in the comment box and have a nice trading week. Thank you.